You ever wonder what I do on a weekend? Like a lot of people think that I literally only work all the time. Here's what my weekend looks like. So basically seven days a week, I wake up with the kids whenever they wake up and I let my wife sleep in. She is not a lazy person, so she doesn't sleep in long at all, usually an extra hour maybe. Kids typically wake up anywhere between six and seven o'clock. So once they wake up, I just hang with them for a bit until she wakes up. And then our Saturdays are not really predictable. I've always been a person that wants to do a lot of things. Like I always wanna go somewhere, I wanna go do something. The idea of sitting around at the house never is exciting to me. So we're always looking for something to do. See, my wife grew up in a very, very small little town called Brookings, Oregon. And I've never really lived in a small town, but I get the feeling that when you live in a small town, there's not a ton to do. So you just get used to doing a lot of things at home, like playing games and just hanging out with family. Me, on the other hand, I've always been around a family that always wants to do something. It drives my wife crazy because I can never just sit still. Okay, so this isn't like a Saturday tradition, but definitely something that I like to do on the weekends if I can. is nice and clean make sure you always do some uh, little nice wet tire magic after it's also very important to dry your car if you ever don't dry your car you kind of defeat the purpose of washing it because you leave spots so moving on all right headed to a party this is the first one of two we out of here on to the next party See ya. See ya. Yeah, good good volleyball serving. Shoot. Alright, first party went great. Had a couple of uh, real intense volleyball games. I'm like an extremely competitive person. So it's always hard when I'm like at random events and everyone's just kind of like playing for fun because it's really hard for me to play for fun. I just want to like play. I mean I had fun, but like it's hard for me to not take things so seriously. Anyway, next party. Graduation party now. Maggie. Tobacco Connor. Is this super cool? He is definitely a real boy. He loves tractors and big machines and he actually knows every machine by name, all thanks to Blippi on YouTube. So much to learn about. Any parents can probably resonate with that, but he is obsessed with that show. And Blippi teaches him a lot. All right, another great party. Headed home now. So just an overall great family day. Super boring day for the vlog, but I think it's important to mention something that I feel like sometimes people don't necessarily realize if they watch all my vlogs. You see, I don't include my family that much in vlogs because all the filming that I do of them, I usually just save for home videos. and So I've decided to just not put them a ton on the vlog. And I also don't always vlog when I'm with them because sometimes I need to put the camera down. But I think sometimes there may be a misconception when you see my channel or maybe even other entrepreneurs channel who you see working and working and working that sometimes you may get this this idea that like the only thing that's important to me is work and work is unbelievably important to me but you really only see my vlogging that is done from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every single day. I don't show you a lot of the other time. I don't show you every single day that I wake up and spend two hours with the kids before I go into work and as soon as I get done with work I spend a couple hours with the kids before I put them to bed every single night like that's a non-negotiable unless we obviously have some sort of filming or something happening but and a lot of fathers can't even say that they get the chance to do that and I'm unbelievably fortunate that I can that I have a schedule that allows me to be home whenever I want to be wake up whenever I want and just have it really focused around when my family actually needs me. Are there times that my balance is a little bit off and, and I spend maybe a little bit more time than I should working? Yeah, 
but there's also a lot of communication between my wife and I. And part of it is the fact that we know that the reality is as a business owner and as someone who is making all the money for the family, it's very important that I also balance the reality that I do sometimes have to work a little bit more. I do sometimes have to go into the office a little bit earlier than normal or maybe stay a little bit later on certain weeks. And But the thing you need to realize is that the most important thing to me is my faith and my family. And I don't want there ever to be any sort of like confusion whether or not I am giving my family the time they deserve. A lot of you see that I have podcasts and I have multiple businesses and I have a daily vlog that I'm putting on YouTube and you're wondering how I possibly have the time to do all this. And I think it goes into a couple of different things. Number one, I think that I'm very, very efficient with my time. So when I spend one hour editing, I feel like I'm a very, very fast editor that gets things done very fast. With YouTube, the reason I'm able to put out something every single day is that I'm able to edit very, very fast and I'm able to do quick cuts before bed, final cuts really early in the morning before anyone else wakes up and I'm just able to get things out quick and I don't overanalyze everything on this YouTube channel. I may not be the best vlogger in the entire world, but I don't overthink that because when I I start to overthink those things well then I start to take more and more time away from either my business or my family and those two options really aren't okay with me I feel like they're both loser options I need to always work hard on my business so I can make money and I need to always spend time with my family because they're more important than my business I will almost always wake up before the kids do and that's when I edit my YouTube channel so I'm not taking time away from the family I will always go to bed after my wife goes to bed or if she's strategically watching a show and she's okay with me editing, I will do that kind of stuff because I will make sure that I prioritize them as much as possible. Am I a hard worker? Absolutely, I like to think that I am. I like to think that if anyone that knows me knows that I give everything, everything that I have and that's always gonna be the case. But my priorities are correct in knowing my faith and my family come before anything. Make sure you have your priorities in order. There are a very important things in life that you want to make sure that you're not letting go of because if your business fails tomorrow, you can start another one. But if you lose your family and you lose the people most important to you, well, what else do you have?